friends, it's Marie here from Marie Nicole Designs. I get to share with you some of these fabulous new dies from Spellbinders. These are designed by Becca Feakin, and they are part of her Candlewick collection. You have all of these different sets of dies that has the um, detail frame piece here and then also just the layering pieces. So you could add details to all of these layers. Um, I've got some examples here with that detail around the edges of this circle and this is the largest circle that you can cut out. You can also layer some of these dies together to cut out frames and even just layering pieces. And I'm going to show you today how I've cut out a few frames and stack them up to make a shaker window. There's also this gorgeous doily piece here that cuts out this stunning design. Um, to me it kind of looks like a snowflake, um, but it's a doily piece. And you can cut out the design and you can cut out a layering piece for the background. So I do want to go ahead and play with this again. I might do another video on that sometime later. But today I just want to focus on these rectangle pieces. Now these layering dies, like I said, are so cool because they have the detail piece and they have the layering pieces all around them. So what I'm doing here is I am just getting these pieces together and then I'm going to tape them down. So I have that detail piece in the middle there. I've got a just a layering piece on the outside and the inside. So it's going to cut out the outside and the inside and you're going to end up with a gold frame that you see there on my card. So I am putting washi tape vertically and horizontally to hold all of these pieces in place. And what's that, what that is going to do is going to allow me to put these dies onto my paper and cut them out. And I can just leave that washi tape right on these dies, leave them taped together. And then I can cut out frames multiple times and they're all going to be exact. So if you're doing a technique like I'm doing today, where you want to stack up these frame pieces to build a shaker window, you want them to be exactly the same. Otherwise, the detail is not going to line up um, and you're not going to get a perfect match with your frames. So I'm just going to go ahead and poke this out here using my tool in one. This is a very detailed frame. So my tool in one came in really handy, poking out all of those extra little pieces that didn't come out on their own. And you can use that brush end to clean up your dies. And I'm going to show you that here in a second. So after I've got one piece cut, I'm going to go ahead and cut another piece and I am just simply taping those dies back down to my paper and cutting out another piece. Now that middle piece is stuck to the washi tape. I'm just leaving that there since I'm not really worried about my middle piece today. You can always save those as layering pieces later, um, but I'm just leaving it stuck to the washi tape and that helps me add the dies to my paper and remove them quickly. Like I mentioned, I'm using the brush end of my tool in one to just clean out all of those little pieces that are stuck in the die. And it's a really quick and easy way to clean your dies out when they're really detailed ones like this. So I'm also going to go ahead and use the largest rectangle die from the set. Um, and I'm using this over some pattern paper. Now this largest die from the rectangle set is just slightly smaller than an A2 size card. So you can use this to cut out your card fronts, um, your front layering pieces, and it's going to be perfectly matched to an A2 size card. You're going to have a tiny little border um, around it where your card base is, and I think it's just perfect. So you're going to get this perfect rectangle every time. I lined that up with some of this paper this pattern paper and I did make sure to make sure it was straight um, since I am working with a plaid pattern here. I didn't want any crooked patterns going on, um, but I think that is a really handy layering piece as well. I really love this rectangle set since I'm mostly a card maker and we work on a rectangle size card. So I'm going to go ahead and start layering my frames together to create my shaker window. So my bottom piece here is just an ivory cardstock that I've cut using those dies that I've taped together. So I know all of these pieces are going to line up perfectly. I've put a little glue on there and I'm layering a piece of clear plastic over the top. Now this clear plastic is from a 12 by 12 scrapbook protector sheet. 
I don't do a lot of scrapbooking, so I generally use these uh, plastic sheets as windows for my shaker cards. Now, I've run it through the die cutting machine with that same rectangle that I use to cut out these frames. Um, and it doesn't always cut completely through the plastic, but it does cut enough that I can finish cutting it with my craft knife and have a perfectly sized window to go on my frames. Now that I have that clear plastic window down, I'm going to put my gold frame on top and this is just going to add the decorative frame that we're going to see from the front of the card. Now I'm only using two layers here. I have some really thin confetti pieces that's going to fit behind there and it's not going to be a problem. If you're going to use sequins or anything larger for your shaker windows, you are going to want to cut out more layers and stack them up so that you can get more height on your shaker window. So here's my little confetti pieces. They're just these flat little hexagon shapes that I thought looked a little bit like snow. I've had them in my stash forever. Um, you can see they're almost gone. I'm just sprinkling a little bit onto the front of my card. I find that it's easiest to put a little pile on the front and put my shaker window over it. And that way I can center my shaker window. I know that it's centered and it's easier than trying to put my pattern paper down over my frame because it's hard to know if it's centered and it's definitely a better way than trying to flip my window over that is filled with confetti and then getting confetti everywhere. So the easiest way I've found to do this is just put a little pile of confetti on the middle of your card front and then glue your window over it. So now I have my shaker window glued down. I'm going to use some of these little silhouette pieces. This is another Spellbinder set designed by Sharon Sowell and it's called Starry Night. I think it's so pretty. It's got this little reindeer here and some little critters and a gorgeous Christmas tree that I'm going to use for my second card. I've just cut these out of black cardstock and I'm going to go ahead and adhere them down over my shaker window, giving it just a little silhouette look. Um, and I thought the reindeer and the woodland themed went really well with that buffalo check pattern paper. So I'm also going to go ahead and glue down my little bunnies down here on the side. Um, and I think it looks really fun and festive and I love that shaker window in the background that looks like snow. So the glue that I'm using is Brutus Monroe craft glue and I have it in a tiny bottle with a fine tip applicator on the top. I love having my little fine tip applicator. I can put a little bit of glue on my frames and my cutout pieces and it just makes applying my glue a lot easier. So there is card front number one. I will be adding sentiments um, and after I finish my second card. Here is this gorgeous Christmas tree that I told you about just a second ago. It fits perfectly on this window and I think it looks just stunning. I can't decide which one I love better, the Christmas tree one or the reindeer. They're both really pretty. And I don't know if you can see from my camera right now, but there are little uh, stars hanging off the antlers and off of the tree. Those are so pretty and I think if you went ahead and cut this die out with glitter paper or something and just cut off those little stars, you could layer it on top of these silhouettes and that would look really fun as well. So for my sentiment, I am using some of these foiled stickers. These come in the Spellbinders Merry Everything Christmas Kit, which is available now at Spellbinders. I'll have that linked below. It is so full of everything you need for Christmas paper crafting, not just cards. I've also done an album with it, and there are so many stickers, embellishments. There's a cute little die set and a stamp set. So there is everything you need in that kit to build your Christmas cards, and I've been using Using pieces from this kit for my cards now for a little while because there is so much left over. It really is a great deal. So I'm just adding these stickers to my craft card stock. This is the same craft card stock that I have on my card bases for my cards. And I'm just trimming it out a little bit. I just wanted to put it on the card stock to make them a little bit more sturdy so that I could add them to my card with some foam adhesive. 
I'm just taking my scissors and trimming along the edges. I did try my straight edge trimmer, um, but I didn't get it perfectly lined up. So I'm just going to go ahead and freehand fussy cut this thing. And then I'm going to add them with a little bit of foam adhesive. And I'm going to do this with both cars. Both cars are kind of the same design, just changed up a little bit. So I hope you enjoyed a look at these candle wick dies and how to kind of um, tape them together to create frames that will perfectly line up and make a shaker window. Um, if you have any questions, comments, or anything, post them down below. Otherwise, I have links down below to the descriptions, blog posts. Don't forget to like, thumbs up, comment, share, subscribe if you haven't already. Just do all the things and I will catch you guys next time. Have a great day, everyone. Bye.